It's important to understand why spasticity can get worse with medical conditions. What happens is that any stimulus below the level of the spinal cord injury can trigger the reflexes underneath that level of injury. And because the brain can no longer send a message down through the spinal cord to calm the reflex down, that reflex can be activated and it tends to persist. Common triggers are things that cause pain in a normal condition. Let's say that you're walking along the ground and you step on something sharp. So what typically would happen is that you'd have a sensation coming up from the foot as a painful sensation it would travel up the nerves into the spinal cord, up to the brain, and it'd be perceived as pain. In the meantime, you've had some reflexes triggered. So the reflex is to extend one leg so you can stand on it and flex the other leg so that you can take your foot away from the painful sensation. But it's a really short-lived reflex in someone who has normal spinal cord and brain function. The brain will then send a message down and tell those reflexes to calm down. So what happens in an individual with spinal cord injury is that that uh, sensation occurs at the level of the organ, so the foot or the bladder or the bowel. It travels up, but then it gets blocked at the level of the spinal cord injury so that the brain doesn't perceive that stimulus of pain or discomfort. The reflexes get triggered, but the brain can't send the message down to tell the reflexes to calm down. So you get this interesting picture where you get the increase in the spasticities, involuntary muscle reflexes and spasms, but the individual doesn't necessarily feel the sensory input from the skin, the bladder, or the bowel. So all you see is uh, increase in spasticity and unlike individuals with, uh, without spinal cord injury, where you rely very heavily on the history to find out, well, what's going on? Is it your foot? Is it your bladder? Is it your bowel? With an individual with spinal cord injury, you have to use the spasticity as a red flag to go hunting for that thing that's gone wrong, so to speak, a medical condition that's triggered those, uh, that spasticity within that short period of time.